Hello, <laughs> welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. Right here on Sea Today. Oh, what a great Monday, I mean, can we say? We, we were just talking about how amazing Indonesian youths are. They are. And now we are joined by these two young people. Yeah. And uh, what Carol was sighing about was actually they have the pins given by the Ministry of Defense. I know. And here we are, 30 plus years old, there's no <laughs> pin from any ministry at all. <laughs> and they're Olympiads of math and yep. science. I mean, it's just I don't get intimidated a lot, but of course Mishka and Devon may be very <laughs> intimidated today. So let us uh, you know, get to know more about them. Indonesia is home to many young generation who excel in various fields both domestically and also internationally. Strongly agree with that. And among yes. outstanding young generations are Defon K. Enzo and Mishka Aoki, who recently added 45 medals. Yes, you heard it right. Mm -hmm. 45 medals from math and science competitions throughout 2022 for Indonesia. Now in all, they have collected more than 85 medals in this international Olympiads from those subjects during the pandemic. I am not only thrilled, I am intimidated. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk more about this. Hello, Mishka and Devon. Thank you so much for being here with us. You are actually a brother and sister, a powerful duo right here. Powerful duo, yes. All right, Hans, I think we, it is such a pleasure to have you in our studio. Thank you so much, Joe, to come the very Thank early so morning. Thank you for yes. inviting us to the show today. Of course. Yes. So uh, let's talk about your medal, shall we? You yes. have won. 87 Olympic medals uh, from math and science competition without the help of a tutor. Okay, let me get that straight. So, all right. So do you guys just love math and science that much? Is it a passion to you both? Oh, yes. And actually, we just added another five medals this morning. How? Oh. This morning. <laughs> all right. This morning. This morning, we had five coffees. <laughs> right, exactly. So you have now 92 in total? Yeah, so yeah. we just got two gold medals for the individual round. And mm. Yeah, and also I'm very grateful because I was able to, and I was chosen to represent Team Indonesia mm. right. with five, adult ch five other children. Mm -hmm. And then because I won the gold medal and also first in global rank, mm. I was able to help Indonesia win the country global championship competition. So you're the first global rank yes. for Indonesia. This is the first time ever for Indonesia. Um, no, I've already done a few. Uh, oh, you've done it, right? Uh, right. Yeah, okay. yeah but uh, for this country global championship, I was mm -hmm. able to win the first global rank uh, for gold. Wow. It's like the number one, 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 oh. one. <laughs> so one. when it comes to global, uh, which country is your yes. biggest rival? Um, as I always say, I think that every country is amazing mm. and I think, I believe that all students are talented mm -hmm. regardless of which country they come from. Mm. But I guess the ones that we see more frequently are from Malaysia, India, China, Iran and also Singapore. Mm. Okay. But yes, I believe that all students have their own talents and strengths and mm -hmm. I do wish them all the best in their pursuit in Math and Science Olympiad. Oh my sure you have a big heart. I love wow. that. Not only you are very talented and smart, but you also have a, a very huge heart. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you guys also, you know, we've known that you love math and science mm -hmm. um, and you actually know that you love this since third grade. Um, is there any subjects that you like other than math and science though? Yes, other than math and science, we also love design, law, and also speech arts. Oh. So in speech arts, we are taught on how to better our skills in mm. public speaking. Mm. So even though we actually already learned about public speaking since mm. we were young from our parents, mm -hmm. this features class really still benefits us because we get to learn different types of public speaking. Mm. No wonder you're oh. very articulated. I know. Right? You're yes. very well spoken. For such a young age. Yeah, for yes. such a young age. Yes, yeah, so we get to really um, learn different types of speech from formal and informal speech mm -hmm. to impromptu, spoken word, monologue, chamber theater, and so much more. And not only do we get to learn these types of speeches, but we also get to gain more new skills, do's and don'ts, as well as gaining personal feedback on how to further improve our speech. How about you, Devin? What, are, what other subjects that you like? Yes, our subjects is the same, yeah. So mm. we also, also have public speaking classes. Ah. Um, and also, I also like doing art and creativity related subjects. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. Is this coming from you both? Or, I mean, I know your parents is probably watching, but is this also like a push from your parents? Does your parents push or more guiding to where you want to become? 
No, our parents doesn't push us. Um, our parents think that we should just explore what we like. That's and right. mm. so we found out that we really like math and science since we were like about grade three. Mm. And so it is our own initiative to join these mathematics and science Olympiads. It's so um, good that parents nowadays are giving their children the opportunity to explore. The facilities. As to exactly, and facilities. facilitated yeah. them, right? And um, also, um, we've been talking about uh, your achievements. So much, so many on your plates at the moment. And people might think that um, in a day of a smart people, of, of smart kids, <laughs> yes, um, th there might not be any any spare time or s things like that. But can you can you walk us throughout your daily life? Yes. How, how does it look? Yes. Yeah, so for our day to day life, mm -hmm. we actually have like a quite of a packed schedule yeah, in mm -hmm. our day to day lives. Mm -hmm. um, because first we have quite many um, subjects at school mm -hmm. that are pretty advanced. And then after that, uh, we also plus have to divide our time with practicing and also preparing for Mathematics Olympiads. And then after that, we also have to attend events, which we both really enjoy. And then there is many other things. So to be honest, we don't really have that much of free time, but we really do enjoy doing this. But of course, throughout the day, we have some sort of break mm -hmm. because it's important that we have a fresher mind because by having right. a fresher mind, it helps us to learn better and faster. Right. The important thing is they enjoy it. Exactly. That's the important thing. Exactly. And they do have a social life. Because, you know, some, pe some people would think that if you're smart, then oh. you're an introvert. You don't want to talk to people and whatnot. But with you two, it seems like it's not. You like to go to the events, <laughs> making new friends and whatnot. And that'll be like your social events for both of you. Exactly. So if you don't mind us asking you, how old are you right now, Mishka? You are? I am 13 years old. 13. Oh, right, 13? Yeah, and, and I'm 12 years old. 12, 12. years old. So you you're both are supposed to be in academic ways. You're supposed to be in junior high school. You're yeah. going to be in junior high school soon. But we know that you guys had joined your parents to stay in the United States, as you said uh, before. You're now going back and forth, if I'm yes, not mistaken? we are going back and forth um, about Every two months, two months. Mm -hmm. Once from two the months. New York to Indonesia. New York to back to right here to Jakarta, and you were offered. Well, I mean, is it both of you or one or Mishka that is yeah. offered to enroll? So we both, um, both feel very honored to have been offered these amazing opportunities. Mm -hmm. So this opportunity to be able to take on advanced courses that are way beyond our level right. is mm -hmm. truly amazing. Yes. So if I'm not mistaken, Mishka is currently taking a law subject and Devon is currently taking advanced high school level for, of course, math and math physics. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, let, let us go through this. So Mishka, you go first. What, why did you took law as, like, as, as the one that you chose? I took law and order because I have always had an interest in law and politics because mm -hmm. there are so many problems in this world and I want to try to be a part of the solution, try to use my skills and my voice to somehow make the world a better place. Right. That's why I took this law course and I am very excited because we get to learn many things from law versus ethics, the role of different level of courts, criminal case processes, wow. and so much more, so yeah. Well, actually your school is a school of celebrities, you know, Kylie Jenner, mm -hmm. um, Dakota Fanning, yes. Emma Roberts, Jennifer LaVeud went there. Um, what, what is actually next for you after the, the school? Um, after the school, we just hope that um, when we go to the university, mm -hmm. we get to go to university that is great, yeah, of course, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, pursue your future and your, you know, what you want to be, you know, in the future too. Now, Devon, you are taking advanced high school level for math and physics. Is it intimidating for you, or this is just a walk in the park? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, because I like math and science, I don't right. see it as something that's going to be scary to me. Mm -hmm. Because I really enjoy these lessons because they're like quite, they're, they challenge me, you know. So, and I really like that feeling. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, yeah. When it comes wow. to math, I mean, lots of people got intimidated mm -hmm. because, you know, the the complications on its own and stuff like that. What can you say to people at the moment watching, um, or if they want to learn math in the first place, what is the first step to take? Yeah, just not to get afraid of yes. uh, right. uh, of, of the subject. Okay, uh, so when we try to learn math, uh, don't start to start by choosing a subject and a topic that is hard. Mm. But we have to learn small by small, step by step. Mm -hmm. So first, we have to start by learning something that is simple, a simple topic. Mm. So we are already confident with the math subject. Yeah. 
That's how you can. So and then you gradually go more yeah, and more, more after more, that. Adding more challenges. I yeah. do. And math has always intimidated me as, as far as I can remember. <laughs> now, of course, now that you're going back and forth now in Jakarta and also New York, how did you guys adapt to the culture? Because it's very different, as we know. And how do you, like, with your yeah. friends, with your environment? Mishka, maybe you can go first. How do you adapt yes. to it? So we still talk with our friends. As you know, you know, there is social media. We can talk through WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we do still talk to our friends, maybe call sometimes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we we could adapt um, quite fast with the environment. All right. What about you, Devon? You like your friends back in New York? Um, yes. We can still communicate, right? As mm -hmm. like my sister said, through technology mm -hmm. or, uh, and communicating apps. I mm -hmm. can talk with my friends at any time. Yeah. I know because yeah. they're just going back and forth, back and forth. And I love that you're living in, you know, best sites of the world, both in Indonesia and also US. Exactly, but uh, it it might have been overwhelming for some people. But how do you actually get over, um, you know, it's it's gonna be exhausting for you to to going back and forth. Um, how do you how do you amuse yourself? What kind of what sort of uh, entertainment that uh, you uh, you actually use to get over the boredom or just to relax a bit? Me time. Me time, yes, me time. What do you do for well, me Well, I guess if we get bored, sometimes um, we would just do some other activities such as like maybe playing board games mm -hmm. or swimming or just doing some other sports. Okay, I love that. Sport. Cindy loves sports. Now you're talking my yes. language. Right yep, now. yep. All right, so you wanted to talk about non-academic stuff, as we see right here. So we heard that your mom is also working in a fashion business, is it? Yeah. And then now you're also intrigued to be interested in fashion as well. Now, can you tell us what we have right here, Mishka? Is this what you made? Yes, okay. I made this. So I guess because um, we are raised in a family where art and design is a part of our day-to-day -day life, mm -hmm. we really get to appreciate creativity and aesthetics even more than children in general. So even though we are like, well, people call us mathematicians, mm -hmm. yeah. we still really do enjoy anything to do with or anything that is related to creativity. And arts and crafts, yeah. right. So what did you make this from? This is a so, headband. Yeah, I actually made this from recyclable materials. Wow. So wow. The headband over there is made from my used headband that I didn't use anymore. Uh -huh. And the uh, flowers are just from paper. Papers. Oh, but they look yeah. like, you, like you would go on a fashion yeah. show, right? Yeah. That is a sorry. Would you mind if I try it on? No, I don't. Oh, think. okay. Oh, it's beautiful. That's pretty. Now you look like your daughter. I look like. Ah. <laughs> now you look like your daughter. I love this. Is this something that you want to pursue as a business, though? Like fashion, maybe one day? And I'm not sure, but hopefully I can. And then you're enjoying it. I love this. I'm yeah. going to wear it until our talk show ends, <laughs> by the way. Don't worry, I'm going to give it back to you. Now, um, you're going to challenge Devon, right? Yeah, of course. I was, I was actually stunned about um, an info, a tip of info yeah. that uh, I got from uh, my friends back there saying that you can actually memorize 150 capital cities in the world. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. All right. <laughs> That being said, I might have to prove it by challenging Devon <laughs> to guess these capital cities. Okay, Devon, we have uh, this big screen over here, and can you guess what capital city uh, the uh, of, country uh, is? Yeah, Vienna. Vienna, is that right? Of course, yes, Vienna. Yep, that is right. The next one, please. Phnom Penh. My God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like without a breathe, right? Yeah, He's not breathing. Uh, like, oh, yeah. No. Phnom Penh. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Singapore City or Singapore? Yes. Singapore City, of course. Come on, aunties and uncles. Cape Town. Yeah. Sorry? Cape Town. Cape, Cape Town. Town. People might have mistaken it for Johannesburg. Yeah. <laughs> Rabat. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, amazing. Just when you thought Morocco doesn't have uh, any capital cities. Kiev. Kiev, of course. I mean, Devon is just only slightly yeah. looking. Islamabad. Islamabad. Oh. Uh, 
Sophia. Sophia, yes. <laughs> yes. It's okay, big sis can help. Yeah. Wow. That's why you have your sibling with you. I love it. Oslo. Oslo. All right. Santiago. Santiago. Just when I <laughs> thought you will fail. There you go. Santiago. Kingston. Ah, oh, yes. You got it all right. <laughs> Look at that. The graphics is just going yeah. faster. Helsinki? Yeah. Okay. That is right. Okay, one more. one more. Dublin. Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Devin. Thank you. How yeah. did you do that? How did you memorize 150 capital city, Devin? Yeah, so there's actually a story to that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when the pandemic began, uh -huh. everything changed yeah, at that time. Um, so we didn't go out anymore. Uh. Uh, my tennis lessons also completely stopped. So we didn't have anything to do. Yeah, and then one day our mother told us that this pandemic will be um, going on for quite some time. So uh -huh. we have to do something good. Yeah. And we remember the exact thing that our mother told us. That is, we have to come out from this pandemic as a better person. Yes. And one of this way is to gain some new knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. So every day we learn something new, not only uh, in academics, right? Mm -hmm. But also, for example, learning how to jump rope, learning how to use Photoshop, uh, and also um, one of them, which was to remember 150 capitals. Now this is important. So, this is important to to realize to be aware that you need to upgrade your skills every now and then. Right, I mean, we are kind of like uh, succumb inside our house, right? We can't go out anywhere, we're isolated, but doesn't yeah. mean that you can just waste your time like that for that 24 hours. Uh -huh. You have to learn something new. Okay, one last thing. I wonder how many languages do you speak? <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, we just speak English and Indonesian, mm -hmm. but we are also studying French. French? Ah. But we don't know too much yet. French! Hmm. You can say something in French, uh. right? You were, I were saying, uh. we, I saw you. Yeah. I was like, okay, ça va? <laughs> ça va? <laughs> C'est la vie. Okay, so uh. anyways, before we conclude, any competition that you guys uh, participate in the upcoming future? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are a few final rounds that we have to do. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we actually want to make a shift in our focus in right. the year of 2022. Mm. Yes, because the past year we've been blessed with so many opportunities and also success for our math journey. Yes. Um, so in the um, rest of the year of 2022, we actually want to shift our focus and focus more in giving back. Yeah, we also oh. do have a scholarship program called Sujuta Impian. Uh. where we help other students to join International Mathematics and Science Olympiads. So we are shifting our focus instead of joining these Math and Science Olympiads for ourselves. We are instead helping other Indonesian students to join and do what we do, which is joining more and more international mathematics. And Guys, science. God bless your heart. I know, right? Yes, uh, if we thought that we can't even get more, you know, amazed by you mm -hmm. both, you made us just even more amazed by your existence. Okay. So Mish Kaoki and Devon K. Enzo, thank you so much for being here. You're not only oh, making your parents you. proud, but also us. We're very proud of you and you inspired us. And we're like half your, no, not even half, no. like 20 <laughs> times your age, and you're still inspiring us. And thank you for inspiring us. Thank you so much thank for you coming. So much also, for good luck. Yes. Now, let's take a break, but when we return, we do have a recap in case you missed what's been going on lately. So stick with us on the scene.